Hi, my name is Ellie Steele. I'm an advanced EFT tapping practitioner. And today I wanted to create a little video for EFT for resistance to exercise. So maybe you were Googling, how do I get motivated to exercise? <laughs> um, or maybe you were like seriously looking up EFT for resistance to exercise. If so, great. Um, if you're not familiar with EFT tapping at all yet, you might want to go just watch my quick intro to the EFT tapping points. So EFT is where we're tapping on these acupuncture meridians to help clear energy and emotions. Um, and resistance is an emotion. So we can, we can clear that with tapping. It's pretty amazing. So you can go watch that introduction to the basic EFT tapping points if you're not familiar with it at all. Or you can just tap along with me here. So if you're feeling like logically you know, consciously you want to exercise. It's like, yeah, I want to, I want to go for a run or I want to do a workout, but I just don't feel like it. I just, I have no motivation. And so maybe you're looking for motivation. Um, this is a technique that can help maybe improve that ability, increase that motivation, improve your ability to actually go out and do something. And I'll give you a couple tips when we're done. So I'm a holistic health coach and a personal trainer. Um, um, I do a lot of health coaching, so exercise is a really important component of that. So, and I recognize that there is a lot of resistance to it. So that's like number one. It's really normal to have resistance to exercise. It's 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 more common than not. So give yourself a break if that's the case. Um, body at rest tends to stay at rest, and so so if you're thinking um, that you want to be able to exercise, maybe today, um, and you're just looking for some way to kind of get you over the hump. Try this with me, okay? So um, just start tapping on the side of the hand and just repeat after me, preferably out loud, and say, even though I really don't want to, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, and then tap through all these points as you repeat after me. This resistance to exercise. I don't have any motivation. I really just don't want to. I want to, but I don't. I want exercise, but I just can't find my motivation. I feel like I don't have any motivation to exercise. I can't find any motivation to exercise. Okay, stop and take a breath. And just gauge how you feel. You can check and see kind of how high the resistance is. You could have done this at the beginning too, but not that big of a deal when we're talking about something like this. You're going to know if it feels better by the time we're done. Um, in general with EFT, we get ratings on a scale of 0 to 10 for how high something is. Um, it's not always important. It, sometimes it's really important. Sometimes it's not so much. And this one, not so much. Um, just see how it feels when you're done. We're going to do five rounds and see what happens. Um, okay, so we're going to tap again. I'm going to throw out some language that might fit for you. It might not. That's okay. Uh, it's not really going to make a difference. You can say it if you want to. You don't have to say it. You can say something else. If it feels like I said something that really hit the nail on the head for you, say that if you want to. That's fine. Um, it's hard for me in a video, obviously, to tailor to everyone. Okay, so try this again. Even though I don't have any motivation to exercise right now, I love and I accept myself anyway. I don't have any motivation to exercise. I say I want to, and I do, but I can't find the motivation right now. I would just rather sit here and do nothing. I really don't want to exercise right now. This lack of motivation This resistance, this resistance to moving. Okay, breath, let it out, and do it again. Even though I say I want to exercise, but when it comes time to exercise, I don't have any motivation. I acknowledge that. It's probably normal. I'm okay. But I'd really like to exercise. 
part of me really does want to exercise. Part of me is still pretty resistant. But there's part of me that really likes the feeling after exercise. I really like that feeling when I'm done. It's so gratifying. And this dread I'm feeling is just temporary. As soon as I start, I know I'll feel better. Okay, take a breath. Let it out. Now, you notice I started using more language to kind of move us in the direction of exercise. If you got a, like a pushback against that, that's okay. Go back and do the ones where there's no like language trying to get you to exercise. <laughs> um, so don't push yourself too, too hard in it. Now, if you find that right now, you're like, ah, I can probably do it now. I could get myself to do it. Um, great, go do it. Because if you can go do it, then your brain learns that every time you exercise, um, you feel better. And over time, that trains you into that exercise habit and you start loving that feeling after you're done. And I'm sure if you've exercised ever at all, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that feeling of gratification, that feeling of accomplishment, um, the feeling of your heart and lungs working and your blood pumping, all that good stuff. So you know what that feels like after a few times and you start to actually crave that, you know, over time. That that takes some time to start to actually crave that, that good, that well-being feeling that comes as a result of consistent exercise. Um, but it can be hard to get over that hump. And so... So the dread feeling is a, that's usually a pretty good word. Resistance is a good word too, but dread is also a really good word. Um, it's temporary. So that's something to really keep in mind. It's temporary. And you can stay in the feeling of dread for hours and hours and hours as you think about your upcoming workout or when you're going to do it. But the second you start, that dread drops and then you're just doing it. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing that's helpful, I find for clients and myself is just put on your exercise clothes. Even if you're really still resistant, you don't want to, just go put on your exercise clothes because that action starts to change the momentum. And then once you've got your exercise clothes on, you might be able to say to yourself, well, I'm just gonna do like a little mini workout, whatever your workout would be. If it's a walk, say, I'm just gonna walk to the mailbox. And if I get to the mailbox and I really wanna turn around and come back, I'll turn around and come back. But at least you've put your exercise clothes and you've gone out and you've done something and that action alone starts again to train your brain into the exercise habit. So try to do something. And chances are you'll do more. Once you're out there, you'll be like, uh, oh, I'm here, I might, right? You get the idea. So just start with something. If your workout is like a, a weight training workout, you might just start, you know, with like do 10 body weight squats. Just do 10 squats. Um, or if you have to go to the gym to work out, just drive to the gym. Um, put your exercise clothes on and drive to the gym. And if you still feel like you don't want to go in, turn around and go home. <laughs> so you could tap before you decide to turn around and go home. But again, chances are, if you just get yourself to chunk down the actions and do a little bit, you might actually get there. Using EFT in conjunction with those kind of behavior changes, that's training behavior um, through habit formation. Um, it just makes it work faster and better and easier. So use EFT with all the stuff you already know about trying to create an exercise habit. Okay. So we're going to do one more round on the kind of the positive stuff. And this is really just kind of to ramp you up a little bit because you know, all this is true, but as I remind you of it, it might just give you the little push you need to get going. Okay. So even though I do still feel some dread about exercising. I acknowledge the dread. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Part of me really doesn't like to exercise. But part of me really does. Part of me loves that feeling of accomplishment. I know I'll feel better when I go. I know that this feeling of dread is temporary. And even a small workout can make me feel better. If I don't go, I'll feel lazy and guilty. But if I go, I'll feel energized, invigorated, and proud of myself. Okay, 
Let's see. So see if you can go. And if you still have resistance and dread, go back, tap a little bit more if you want to, or just leave it. You know, it'll get better over time. Just do this video a few times until you start to build in the habits and give yourself a break. It's hard. Building an exercise habit takes the better part of a year. So the whole stuff about habit formation and like 21 days, no, not with exercise. It takes much longer. So give yourself a break. Keep trying. Don't give up. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.